going on birdies hi everyone welcome back to outdoor adventure craft it's time to get the winter expedition series videos wrapped up and i just need to film a couple intros and outros to do so stick around i'll be right back everyone welcome back so as I'm sure you guys saw in those few little clips there of what's going on outside uh, the weather's pretty ridiculous just bringing my gear out here to film this in the shelter of the shed uh, my footprints are filling in uh, as I come out so I've got two goals here uh, to accomplish today uh, it's to give an introduction to the video that follows because it was filmed uh, last winter so you guys know what's coming up in the video and I've got the giveaway items as promised the warthog from Adirondack knife works we've got a couple of the ferrocerium rods from light my fire and strikers with the whistles uh, in them really nice strikers the the they're the scout ones, the, the really large ones, as well as I've got a can of Adirondack Knife Works Hellfire to give away. So stick around after the uh, Winter Expedition portion of this video to see the giveaway winners. I'm really excited about that. But as far as the video goes, uh, what this event was during the trip was a chance for my family, my wife uh, and kids and Kupek, to come out to the tent. They hadn't been in it uh, yet. I had just gotten it just before the, the trip. So they got to come out and enjoy the atmosphere, the wood stove. We cooked up a meal, enjoyed each other. We hadn't seen each other uh, since a couple days before at the funeral. And really just uh, kind of relax uh, and uh, not have so much to do. We did also get a chance while Kupek was out to look at a couple of the items provided by One Tigress, the K9 support items there in those uh, harness vests that he has. So we got another closer look at those. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So I hope you guys enjoy this next video uh, in my Winter Expedition series, and we'll talk to you after the video. All right, give her. Nice. Nice one, bro. Yeah, man. Sweet. Want to try the chainsaw? <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? That's good boy. Sit. That's good boy. Okay, so we got a treat. So, I just wanted to show everybody Kupak's nice harness. Stay. Stay. I got his name done on a morale patch for him. I got a little ration pack there with his food in it. Stay. Oh, that's potato skin. Yeah, stay. That's good boy. Got his first aid kit over there, designed for canine trauma and things yeah. like that. I just want to show that off again and thank one tiger. Sit, 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 sit. Good boy, you do anything for a treat, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, so this is Kupek's other vest. This is his hunting vest. It's got a medical pack on the side. High vis orange, hunter's orange. So it definitely stands out against the uh, snow and the, the foliage and stuff like that. Makes them a little bit easier to see. This one's a, a large, you could probably use an extra large, but this one fits them. It's just out at the edge though, size wise. Kupak weighs 130 pounds, so he could probably use an extra large and just about any accessory that uh, he had. But yeah, he doesn't mind them. He's always had them on. Like he shakes a little bit sometimes if they uh, if you get a lot of weight in them. But if you set the sizes right, they fit them pretty good. Oh yes, that's a good boy. 
Anyway, guys, yeah, I wanted to show you those uh, dog harnesses I got from One Tigers. I really appreciated those. Uh, they sent them to One to uh, Outdoor Adventure Craft to show you guys what types of dog harnesses they had. They work really good if you want to strap a first aid pack on or some food or kibble or you know anything like that. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Don't okay. natural anymore. Okay, Maya. So compared to the comfort of this tent. Tell us the story of the worst family camping trip that we were ever on. Well, one time we were in, uh, it was near Perth, and it rained all night, and we were stuck with Kubek in the tent, and it was maybe half this size, and there was no pillows, no mattresses, and it was really short, and it was sucky. Have my pillow. Yeah. Ooh, pillow. Kubek is tired. Is that a long walk? Oh, that's good booty. I'll have to carry it home. <laughs> Poor dog. You need to get him to pull your sled. Then you'd be set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been cooking up this delicious meal, filming it as we went, and we realized just a second ago we went to film one of the scenes that the mic had been off the whole time. So I'm going to describe to you what I've done here and I'm gonna sub in as I talk some of the footage that we just captured over the last five or ten minutes so you can get an idea of how we put this together. So the first thing I did was I, I prefer the Adirondack Knife Works Huntsman for kitchen duties so I use that to cut up the deer meat and I got the deer meat cooked first I use a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of steak spice speaking of which you could probably use a little bit more the hot and spicy steak spice it's it's nice I always have it in my uh, my bag with me along with the olive oil once the steak was cooked uh, I added the veggies got them all spread out and you know there's not a not an immense amount of heat comes off the stove but obviously enough to get things cooked through you're not gonna do like a, it's not gonna be like a walk where you get high high heat and sear the veggies and stuff and get them cooked in like you would if you were cooking uh, a stir fry at home but you can get everything cooked up nice and keep the fire hot while you're cooking make sure your meat's cooked first before you get your veggies in there and you should do all right one of the things I was going to mention too is you can pick up frozen veggie mixes just about any supermarket and they're great for when you're out in the winter because they stay frozen the whole time you're out just store them in a snowbank or fill your cooler up with snow you know whatever you have available to you but yeah this should be ready for us in a, in a couple of minutes Oh, that's good boy. Good boy. Thank you. <clears throat> that's pretty good, man. Hello, Summers. Mom, maybe we bump on it. Oh, chewy, though. Some of the pieces had a little bit of sinew run through it, and other pieces of super tender. Mm. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, dog. It tastes like dirt. <laughs> Not even Did done. you guys enjoy Bye, visiting buddy. the tent? Yeah. Way warmer than outside. Huh. See you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, family time out at the tent. Uh, nothing too serious, nothing too heavy duty. 
no uh, teaching or learning really or anything like that just a relaxing afternoon at the uh, at the hot tent now as far as the winter expedition series goes I've got one more video uh, the day after that was filmed after we had packed up I went and checked uh, my coyote trap my snares where I had set up there with the lure so we're gonna go out and see what turned up there but let's get into probably the most exciting part of the this video today and that's the giveaway so uh, David at Adirondack Knife Works made this knife the Warthog 3 16 of an inch thick 1095 high carbon steel handmade I'd also like to thank Valhalla Custom Kydex Matt Townsend down at Valhalla Custom Kydex for providing this custom sheath you can hear that fit it's just beautiful so Dun 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 The winner is, and I used a website that analyzed the unique commenters, not how many times people commented, but individual commenters. And the winner is Kevin Johnson at Midwest Woodcraft. He's got an excellent channel here on YouTube, and I was really happy uh, to see Kevin win. So Kevin, uh, get in touch with me. Uh, we're going to be able to get this shipped out to you. And coincidence, I still have... An outdoor adventure craft t-shirt that's been sitting around here with a certain somebody's name on it Kevin Johnson so Kevin Johnson is coming up our big winner today I had intended to send this out to him last year uh, just because I know him from being on another YouTube channel but he's our big winner today and I'll have a chance to send his t-shirt out too yeah. uh, David also sent along that Hellfire fire starter that he makes it's a proprietary mix that he makes and I found it worked really really well uh, there's lots of comparable products out there but this is unique in its application uh, this is something I tried out on the video series there and was uh, very happy with so winner of that is user buds 740 so B U D S 740 I'll try to get a hold of you uh, through YouTube and get your address and all that stuff maybe we can private message and there's that's that's yours right there buds 740 winner of our hellfire pack okay two more winners so this is a big day i'm really glad that we're here doing this and i want to thank uh, brent york one of my friends who you saw in the in the tent with brent episode of the winter expedition series he provided these light my fire ferrocerium rods there was three of them for the life of me guys i can't find the third one i know it's up there somewhere we're going to give it away at the 2000 subscriber giveaway which is coming up real soon pardon the noise that's the wind blowing uh, in the vapor barrier of the shed but here we got two swedish fire steels from light my fire and the winners are sniper in the dark you're going to get one of these so get in touch with me sniper in the dark comment hopefully you'll watch this video i'll try to hit you up through private message and maca stacka i like that name maca stacka maca stacka you win the other one try to get in contact with me and provide your details and stuff like that you now you can have the one got dropped on the floor maca you can take it butch name like that no matter if it's dinged up a little does it all right guys that about wraps it up again Thank you very much for helping me here as I reboot Outdoor Adventure Craft. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope uh, you shared some of the excitement of getting those giveaways uh, taken care of and out to you folks. As always, I like to end my videos by pointing out I have a website that I work really hard on, www.outdooradventurecraft.com. Check that out. You can also check me out on Facebook as Outdoor Adventure Craft and on Instagram where I try to do stylized nature pictures and uh, you know uh, quotes and things like that. So check me out there too. It's also under Outdoor Adventure Craft. Guys, love every single one of you. This has been great. I got to go in and edit it so that I can upload it and so that you guys can see it. We'll see you next time.